Hi guys and welcome back to a new workout video. Due to the lockdown, I couldn't go to the studio and film new content. So I decided to design a workout from the moves that I already filmed and I created this mix and match booty band lower body workout. And I can promise you that it's a killer. You're gonna feel the burn in all the muscles in your legs. If you don't have a resistance band, you can still do the workout. The band will just add more intensity to it. Enough. For this video, I added a voiceover that explains the right technique for you in order to get the real benefits of this workout and of course, the results you want. So we have a total of 12 moves divided into three circuits. We're gonna do two rounds of each circuit before moving to the next one for a total of 20 minutes. And if you make it to the end of the session, you'll find a nice surprise at the end of the video. I would love to know your feedback on this workout after you've done it, so make sure to leave a comment down below, like the video, and subscribe if you're new here. Now let's get into it. We're gonna start with a basic move, banded squat. Start with your feet slightly wider than your hips. Resistance band should be just above your knees. When you drop your hips down, make sure that you're pushing your knees out. Continue to lower yourself until your thighs are parallel to the floor. Start in a narrow squat position, feet together, Drop your hips down, up halfway two times, then all the way up while jumping your feet out in a wide squat position. Make sure to keep pushing your knees out. That's how you're gonna activate your glutes. Start on your hands and knees. Shoulders should be just above your hands and your knees just under the hips. Lift your leg away from your body at a 45 degree angle, stopping at hip height. You should keep the tension in the resistance band. Don't let it flop. Make sure to keep your core engaged. You're not arching your back. Keep your belly drawn into your spine. Place the band just above your knees. Before pressing your hips up, push your hips into the floor to make sure that your core is engaged. Now push your heels into the floor and raise your hips up to create a straight line from your knees to your shoulders. Once you're up, squeeze your butt while opening and closing your legs twice. Great job! Now we're gonna repeat the circuit one more time before moving to the next one.
take two wide steps to the side and then jump. Make sure to keep the tension in the resistance band, never let it flop. This is one of my favorite moves because it really sets your thighs on fire. Start in a plank position. Now engage your core and jump your feet in towards your chest and between your arms. Keep every muscle in your body squeezed while jumping your feet back into a plank. Make sure to keep your plank strong. Your abs are braced, your back is flat, and most importantly, don't let your hips drop throughout the entire move. Jump your feet out as you lower into a squat and jump your feet back in. Make sure to keep your chest up and this time try to aim for speed. Go as fast as you can because we want to accelerate the heart rate and get those legs on fire. in a tabletop position, knees under hips, wrists under shoulders. Brace your core, squeeze your glutes and extend one leg to the back, moving it up and down. Make sure you're not arching your back. Tilt your tailbone in and keep your core really engaged. Well done, now we're gonna repeat the circuit one more time before moving to the third and last circuit.
Place the band just above your knees and start in a squat position. Drop your hips down and when you go up, lift your leg out to the side, tightening the band as much as you can without shifting your hips. another cardio move to get the heart pumping. For the lunge, take a long step back, your front knee should be at 90 and your front thigh should be parallel to the floor. Then quickly jump into a squat, hips back and down to 90. Squeeze your glutes and push with the heels to jump back into a lunge position. Place the band on your ankles, shift your weight on your left leg while extending the right leg to the back. Make sure to keep the weight on your left side and keep the tension on the band to feel the burn. Place the band just above your knees, lower your hips into a squat position, hold it there while pushing your knees outwards. When you close your knees, make sure you're not pushing them in so you can keep the tension on the band. For the lunge and squat, always make sure that you're pushing with the heels. That's how you're gonna activate your glutes. Mind to muscle connection is very important. So try to think on which muscle we're working on and focus the tension that you're creating during exercise on that specific muscle. Be sure 
Okay, alright. 